Hello everyone, so welcome to SC200 series. My name is Alan, so I am your instructor for today's session. So as you are very well aware, we are going to be learning on SC200, which is Microsoft Security and Analyst Operations. So this is the complete course on what we are going to be learning. So on day-to-day -day basis, you guys are very well aware about how a cybersecurity SOC analyst faces a variety of challenges. Now, some of the challenges are going to be very, very upcoming. So, you, what are some of the challenges? One is alert fatigue. Okay. Now, this means like the SOC analyst deals with high volumes of security alerts daily, many of which are maybe false positive, sometimes prioritizing and accurately identifying genuine kinds of threats. And some of the noises, very, very complex challenges. So you just have to be very careful on fatigue alerts. Next one, it will be threat hunting. Now, if you are very well aware about threat hunting, this is one of the proactively searching threats. So if I am actually made any kind of automated detection systems, then this requires a lot of networking traffic deep logs and data sources to be utilized over here. Next, third one is incident response. Now, if you're coming into a background of being a security analyst, then you have to quickly respond to a managing security incidents. Now, these can be like something like malware, infections, data breach, or DDoS attacks. This includes any kinds of eradication and recovery actions. Next, we have the log analysis. Now, as we come across many kinds of situations, like continuously we are supposed to reviewing the logs from various sources. Some of the example will be IDS, IPS, and SIM. These are some of the SIM systems. These are some of the various ones where you'll be able to identify suspicious activities, patterns, and might indicate a security threat. Next, we have communications. This is one of the most important ones you are supposed to be facing as a challenge because the security team always must collaborate with different teams in IT department. Now, this is where the challenge compliance and management. Ensure some of the coordination is to be responded with according to the incidents. And this is a very, very huge kind of security status for the security events. Next, being a knowledge in security is not only enough, but you have to know about the tool management services. Okay. Now, when I say about the word tool management here, ensuring the security tools and systems like SIM, firewalls, and IDS, IPS, all the things are working properly configured, and you're supposed to making a function as expected. So any kinds of issues, you're supposed to make sure that tools are promptly working over here. Next, you have the threat intelligence. Keeping up to date with the latest threats intelligence. To understand any kind of emergency threats and trends, you have to see including any kind of monitoring activities going to be taking place here. So any kind of information security strategies you have to be seen. So always remember the threat intelligence is going to be always active and this is going to be keep learning just like a machine learning. In new kinds of threats which we are going to be having any kind of facing issues, it is going to keep learning and you should be aware on up to date. Next is Routine maintenance. Now, here, regularly performing some updates, patches, and maintenance on security systems and tools to protect any kinds of vulnerabilities, we have the routine maintenance. Next is documentation and reporting. Now, being a SOC analyst, this is one of the most important things you have to keep. Keeping a detailed record of all the actions taken, incidents and outcomes. Preparing as reports to the stakeholders that, hey, that we have actually performed these many kinds of tools and technical teams and management. So this is a very important, crucial part. In the future, it is a very, very huge references you're going to be taking. Next is compliance. Now, 
every single company has their own kind of compliance, ensuring that all security practices align with their regulatory requirements and organizational policies. This may involve some of the audits and assessments which you are supposed to be conducting on time to time basis. Next, training and skill development. Now, continuously improving our skills and knowledge through training. This means it can be in the certification, staying informed about the latest security and development and technologies. These can be one of the most important things we can come across. Next is user support and education. Assisting users to with security related issues, educating them about all kinds of best practices to avoid anything like phishing, social engineering and any kinds of common threats. We are making sure to have the user supports and education. Next is the incident post mortem. Now, conducting through thorough review of past incidents is very, very important in this kind of identifying. What went wrong? What was done well? How, uh, how process can be improved in the future? These are the few three questions you are supposed to be asking. So just keep in mind what went wrong, what went right, and how process, how to improve. Further, these are some of the three main important questions when you are actually to be asked when you are having an incident post mortem. Now, dealing with advanced, persistent threats in short form. We call it as APTS. Okay, so if you wanted to identify any kinds of mitigating long term targeted attacks and to aim to steal data or causes disruption over an extended period of time, then you are going to be dealing with this APTS. Last but not least, we have managing stress and burnout. Now, keep in mind, the high stake nature of cybersecurity can be very, very stressful. Now, SOC analysts must manage the stress to maintain effectiveness and avoid any kinds of burnout. So these are like the one of the quickest problems SOC analysts play on a critical role. So protecting their organization information, system data and wide range of cybersecurity threats. So I hope you guys have gone through the particular fact, what are the problems our cyber security people are actually going through. Now, dealing with these kinds of SOC analyst problems, we are making sure to have a very, very safe on what we can actually learn the further down the line. So this is a very, very things. Now, these are also the most important part where you are going to be learning what the cybersecurity team is actually going to be doing on the day-to-day -day activities. So these are the problems. Now, this is the same resolutions you're going to be seeing as what are the roles they're going to be playing. Now, the roles might be like this. Number one, you have the threat monitoring and detection. Now, continuously you are supposed to be monitoring any kinds of security systems, networks, logs, and signs of cyber threats, anomalies, or breaches. This is very, very important for the threat monitoring and detection. Next, incident response. Now, this is one of the crucial part for a SOC analyst he has to play. Responding to security incidents by analyzing, assessing the situation, containing the threats, mitigating its complete impacts, 
and recovering from those incidents. So there are many various responsibilities and incident response we are supposed to be playing within a SOC analyst as an incident response team. Next is analysis and investigation. Now, when we come to this analysis and investigation, the security alerts to determine whether their validity and severity, this involves a deep analysis of logs, network traffic, and other data sources. So you have to see logs, network traffic, and other data sources to make sure all kinds of analysis and investigation has been completely thoroughly searched. Next is threat intelligence. Now, we have to stay up to date on the latest cyber security threats, which are such as vulnerabilities, attack vectors, utilizing threat intelligence, feed and tool to anticipate any kinds of defend against the potential attacks. Next is vulnerability management. Now, assisting the identifying and prioritizing what kind of vulnerabilities in an organization systems you might face. Now, collaborate with other teams also. You have to make sure they are ensuring in on time to time patching and mitigations are being done for the vulnerability management. Next is security tool management. Now, as we have already discussed with the previous tips. You have to configure and maintain security tools such as SIM tool, information and event management systems, firewalls, intrusion detection prevention systems, IDS, IPS and endpoint protection solutions. All these comes under the security tool management. So you have to keep yourself up to date on the security tool management and in the future down the line you might come across various other situations in the security. Now, this is also a part of our responsibilities, uh, that is the reporting and documentation. Again, as we have previously discussed, the certain detailed reports of incident reports, including analysis, action taken, and remediation recommendation for the future prevention, all should be maintained an accurate documentation for all the incidents in incident response. So this way you are actually going to make sure this is going to be avoided in the future. Next is collaboration and communication. Now being a SOC analyst, one of the most difficult part is to communicate. The communication is one of the most crucial things. We are to work closely with IT field members as well as external partners. So if you are having any kind of a client, mostly the security strategy and incident response plan has to be well communicated in advance. Ninth is continuous improvement. Now, when it comes to continuous improvement, participate in post-incident reviews to identify any kinds of lessons you have learned and implement these kinds of improved lessons in the security to practice, process, and technologies. We can use this complete continuous improvement. Next is compliance and policy others. adherence okay now if you want to ensure that all the security activities comply with the relevant law regulations and organization policies assist in the development of security policies make sure all the things have been uh, well procedures and this can be actually helping you for the long term so as we have seen in the first part what are the SOC analyst problems and those are also their roles and responsibilities now as you are knowing the roles and responsibility and how much the problems are going to be faced by the SOC analysts, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be learning on the course right now on SE200, which is going to help you in understanding the various aspect on how this can be completely taken care. Now, Microsoft Certified Security Operation Analyst Associate, that is SE200, is going to help you in investigate Investigate, search for 
mitigate threats. Okay. Now, how you're going to be utilizing? You're going to be utilizing in many ways. One of them is Microsoft Sentinel. And you will be also using Microsoft Defender for cloud. And also, last but not least, Microsoft 365 Defender. So these are the three tools which you will be actually utilizing for your learning purposes. Thank you. We will see you in the next session.